Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're going to take a look at the Fusion Works Sabre case for the iPhone 4. This case sells for $55. It comes in a bunch of different colors and also a few different styles. Today we're going to take a look at the open version, which has an open back. There is also a closed version, which has a closed back. This is an aluminum slash polymer style bumper case that features stainless steel screws and weighs in at only one half ounce. So it comes in this presentation box. Once you open it up, remove all the packing material. First thing you're greeted with is a serial number. This ensures that the FusionWorks case you are buying is actually a FusionWorks case. Also important to note here is the website that has instructions on how to install and remove the case if you need them. This one uses screws and a wrench similar to many of the other aluminum style cases on the market. In addition to the four screws you need to install the case, you also get two additional ones in case you lose any of the original screws. So let's get those out of the way. And then inside here is the case itself. Before I get to that though, you do get a front screen shield. It's a crystal clear screen shield with this. Since this is a bumper case, I think it would have been nice had they given you a clear back one as well, but they only give you the front. So the case itself is actually in this felt presentation bag. Open it up like so, and you can see the case. So let's get to first installing it onto my phone, and then we'll go through all of the features of the case itself. So before we get to installing the case, I've removed the four screws just so you can see what the two pieces look like. The bulk of the case, which is this back piece, is made from a special polymer material. Some aluminum style cases do seem to cause issue with reception. Since this is made mostly of this polymer material, you shouldn't have any issues with lowering the reception of your phone when you go to use it. Then the front piece is this thinner aluminum piece that attaches together like so. Once you screw all four screws into place, you're good to go. So let's do that now. So to install the case, the first thing you need to do is click the phone into the back portion of the case like so. Once it's dropped in like that, you can see kind of the you know picture frame look it takes on. You'll take the front frame and lock it into the back portion like so. So that's the overall look. Once that's all together, you're ready to screw in the four screws. They do go into the back. They only go one way. Once they're all screwed in, the case is fully assembled. So let's do that right now. And there we go. Now you can see I took my time installing this. You want to make sure you kind of strike a careful balance of getting the screws in nice and tight and getting everything flush, but without over tightening them. As I've mentioned on every one of the cases of this type I reviewed, the last thing you want to do is end up stripping screws and have them stuck in there and have this case be on your phone permanently. Well, you know, unless you absolutely think it's the last case you'll ever own. So let's take a once over of the case. You can see the front. I think it looks great. I love the look of this case personally. It offers kind of a square look to the iPhone 4, which I think goes with the overall design. You can see the polymer sides. They feel really nice in the hand. They're not slippery. They offer a good amount of grip. On this side of the case, you do have the Sabre kind of logo stamped into the side, and then there's one big cutout for the vibrate switch and the volume buttons. This means this will work with either the Verizon or the AT&T version of the iPhone 4. On the top, there's two rather large cutouts, one for the sleep awake and one for the headset jack and the secondary mic. I don't see any issue with any headsets fitting in here because this headset cutout is so large. There's also no problem with getting your finger into where the sleep awake button is. On the bottom, it's kind of one large cutout for everything, including the 30 pin dock connector, the speaker and the mic. It's a little bit on the narrow side. I personally tried a few different third party cables and didn't have any issue, but there may be some larger ones that don't fit um, as well as docks. It's kind of gonna have to be a trial and error thing where you see what fits and what doesn't. And then of course on the back, the back is completely exposed. So there's no issues with any kind of flashback. You'll wanna use some kind of skin or clear shield on the back of your iPhone 4. I would think if you use this case. Now remember, they do offer a completely closed version of this case where the back is covered as well. So if you're worried about protection and you like the look of this case, you can go with that as well. As far as reception goes, again, because this is a polymer case, the majority of it being polymer, I had no issues with any sort of reception. The only piece that is aluminum is this little front piece. None of that touches the antenna, so there is no issue at all. Overall, I'm digging this case. I like the overall look 
of it. The only complaint I have, I don't like the Sabre logo right here. I wish they'd do away with that. Maybe put it somewhere else and make it a little bit smaller. I really like kind of the, the Black Ops look of this case, for lack of a better word, or the stealth look of it. I imagine with the black iPhone, it would look really, really sharp. I like it with the white too, but um, had they done away with that, I think it'd look even more stealthy. So one of my favorite bumpers for the iPhone 4, the Sabre from Fusion Works. If you like this case, check it out via the link in the video description. And if you have any questions about it, you know you can always drop me a line. Otherwise, you have a great day.